Deer hunting is huge in Texas. So when we heard about a study that found widespread COVID-19 infections among white white tailed deer, it got our attention. Janelle Baluda is talking to the researchers about what this means for hunters. Well, this isn't really a warning as much as it is awareness. Researchers say this is happening to deer in Iowa, but deer in Texas haven't been tested, which is why they're saying just be careful. November 6 is the official start of deer season in Texas. Starting Saturday, thousands of Texas hunters will be out in the brush trying to bag the big one. I think it's been surprising uh, to all of us. But a new study out of Houston Methodist is revealing some surprising details about deer in Iowa. Approximately one third of the deer had SARS-CoV-2 in their tonsils. Dr. Jim Musser says through genome sequencing and studying the tonsils of 300 deer, they found a third had the virus. But at one point during the study, more than 80% were infected. They believe some of the population was infected by humans and they became super spreaders. Deer, of course, live in herds and they interact with one another in a herd mentality. He says there hasn't been any evidence of deer transmitting the virus back to humans. We do not know how extensive this uh, problem may be, may be in Texas deer. We just don't know. But says just be aware and maybe wear a mask. I think it would be prudent to be careful when you're field dressing your deer, you know, gutting it and cleaning it and so forth, just to be aware that there could be a problem here. Texas Parks and Wildlife says they are not testing deer for COVID-19, but they want hunters to be mindful of another illness, chronic wasting disease, a progressive and fatal neurological disease found in deer, elk and moose, and say hunters should have their harvest tested even if they aren't in a mandatory testing zone. In Houston, Janelle Belita, KHOU 11 News.